Yo, welcome back. This channel is built to guide you all the way. From your first prompt to a fully realized, high-quality, consistent AI girl. Just so we're clear, this video contains adult humor and language. Viewer discretion is advised. But let's be real. If you're here for AI girls, you already knew that. Assuming you have comfy UI and the manager installed. If not, go watch the previous video. First, let's update Comfy UI. This workflow tutorial is Flux. Flux is a powerful model with serious advantages over stable diffusion, better quality, more flexibility, and just built different. Flux delivers what your imagination never could. You begged. You cried. Your sad little prompt history proves it. Now you're here to step it up, craving for more detail, higher quality. You want them sharper, smoother, closer to real. Now go to Workflow. Browse Templates, Flux. You'll see two versions. Flux Dev, the full package, built for high-quality outputs. Flux Schnell. Schnell means fast in German. This one's all about speed and efficiency. Open Dev. Don't see the model loaded? Because you still need to download that 16 gig model. Yeah, it's huge. Suck it up. Let's also open the Schnell. That means downloading the Schnell model, too. We're downloading both. Yes, your internet's crying. But hey, gotta render your fantasy in full detail, right? Didn't get the download model pop-up? No excuses. Link's in the description. Go get it, click it, you're on your own. Download almost done? Damn, that took you long enough. Your crush got married while you waited for those models. Anyway, toss that model into your comfy UI folder. Models? Checkpoints. I put mine in a subfolder flux because I'm organized, unlike you. Refresh the nodes. The models should show up now. Take a look at the case sampler settings. For dev, the recommended steps are 20, with flux guidance set at 3.5. Flux Guidance controls how closely the image follows your prompt. Higher values, like 4, make AI stick closely to your prompt. Lower values, like 1, gives AI more freedom to improvise. For Schnell, just 4 steps. No Flux Guidance, fast, efficient, and built for speed, because I know you like it fast. We need faster generation, and let's be honest, you finish faster anyway. Previously, our prompt was a young woman sitting in a coffee shop. Now, assuming you've progressed in your imaginary relationship and she maliciously made it to your apartment, our new prompt is a young woman sitting on a couch in a softly lit apartment, facing the camera, smiling gently. First, let's try the dev. Previously, SD took 2 to 3 seconds for 512 by 512 generation and around 13 to 14 seconds for 1024 by 1024 on my PC. Flux dev requires more time. While we wait, now's a great time to check if your lotion bottle needs a refill. See those details? The image quality is far superior to SD. It took me more than 100 seconds. Let's try that again. Let's push my PC to the limit. And when it freezes, I'll spank it like I spanked your mom last night. Fast forward. There, after initialization, subsequent runs are faster. 
These four jobs took 80 seconds each, at least for my PC. Now let's try the Schnell with same prompt and dimensions. The first run took just 51 seconds. After initialization, jobs now take 18 seconds each. It works faster because it only takes four steps to generate while still preserving quality. Don't try lowering the steps in dev, it ruins the output. But I know some of you can't help but act like mad pervert scientists trying to perform digital surgery on your AI girl, slicing steps like it's some kind of hentai autopsy. So I did the test for you. See that? It sucks. You're welcome. I just saved you time and embarrassment. Now repay me by smashing that subscribe button. That's it for Flux in Comfy UI. And while Flux is a clear upgrade from SD, it's not perfect. Some details still get weird, like that random chin dimple, or as I call it, the butt chin. Not always, but mostly in the dev version. Sorry, my mouse slipped. So if you're thinking, can we fix that butt chin? We're stepping it up. Let's build this from scratch and take full control. I won't use the available template because I'm a rebel. I like living dangerously. This is an upgrade. Checkpoints generally use the model together with its own clip and VAE. Generated images are better and improved when we use separate clip and VAE models. At least that's what they claim on Reddit. We'll use separate nodes. Load diffusion model. Dual clip loader. Load VAE. These nodes constitute the ones from the checkpoint node, only now we can choose different models for clip and VAE. Add power LoRa loader from RG3. Clip text in code for positive and negative prompts. Though Flux doesn't need a negative prompt, we still need to connect something in K-Sampler to avoid errors. Add Flux Guidance. K-Sampler. VAE Decode. And lastly, Save Image Node. We might as well upgrade this workflow to Image to Image, like we did with our SD workflow. We'll need Load Image. Image resize. VAE encode. Now link them exactly how I do. Don't try to freestyle. You'll mess up the connections and Comfy UI will scream at you in errors until you cry. Link all the nodes. And fix it the way you want it. Done. Now we need models. There are plenty of Flux models on Civit AI that retain details while promoting realism and nudity, of course. I know you won't admit it's what you really want. Let's head to Civit AI and search for AG Flux, the Schnell one. I've listed some of the Flux models I've tested to be realistic, and yes, nudity included, it's in the description. Once downloaded, transfer the file and paste it into Comfy UI folder. Models. Diffusion models. Models in this folder will only attempt to load the UNet part of the model, so we need to load the clip and VAE separately. Back in Comfy UI, refresh the nodes. There it is now, AG Flux. For clip, go to Manager, Model Manager, search for VIT L14, and install that 900 megabyte model. Also, search for T5XXLFP16. 
Yeah, that's 9 gig right there. Stop whining and click download. CLIP, contrastive language, image pre-training, helps AI understand text prompts more accurately. Refresh nodes. Now choose VitL14 and T5XXL. Careful not to load the same clip model twice. You'll get plain black images. Set type to flux. Now, VAE, the flux 1 VAE we need, throws an error. After checking, it turns out the model from Black Forest Labs is currently blocked. You can still find it by searching for A.SafeTensors in Hugging Face. Links in the description. Download the file. VAE handles encoding and decoding images to and from latent space, where the case sampler creates and adjusts your image during generation. Once downloaded, drop it into your Comfy UI folder. Models, VAE. You might see an existing Flux 1 folder. That's from when we tried installing VAE through the manager. Just paste the file there. You can check your clip models in the text encoders folder. Head back to Comfy UI and refresh the nodes. The model should show up now. Loris. Grab them from Civit AI. Try Hand by O de Noir. Realism by Anna AI Art. Skin Texture, also by Eau de Noir. But don't go stacking all of them at once. Mixing the wrong combination of Loras can break your image. And let's be real. You'll search for drooling, ahegao, areola, breast size, those highly specific lady parts. Tread lightly, horny wizard. Some spells just don't play nice. Transfer the files and paste it into your comfy UI folder. Models. Loras. I put mine in a subfolder, Flux. Back to Comfy UI and stack those Loras. Let's try the same prompt again and upload one of our previously generated images. Set Flux Guidance to 3.5. For the case sampler, steps 20, CFG 1.0, and denoise at 1.0, this keeps it in text to image mode. Set the image size to 1024 by 1024. Method keep proportion. As you increase the dimensions, generation time also increases significantly. Run. Remember, your denoise value determines whether the workflow is text-to-image or image-to-image. -image. A value of 1.0 treats the workflow as pure text-to-image and completely ignores your input image. Lowering the denoise value lets the input image have more influence, shifting it toward image-to-image. -image. Just a heads up, not all models respond to denoise the same way. In our SD tutorial, we had to lower it down 0.5 to start seeing results similar to input image. With this model, we're already getting close similarity even at around 0.9. And that's it. You can now generate your upgraded AI girl. Go ahead, keep prompting until she's acting out whatever deep, dark, unspeakable nonsense you call a fantasy. It's all in the description, workflow, links, and all the stuff you ignored while fast-forwarding this video. Do me a solid and subscribe to this channel. Catch you in the next video.